Welcome to Pure and Apply Calculator and Shortcuts for today. Today we'll be looking at the implicit differentiation. You know, in our last episode, we talked about the explicit differentiation. What's the difference between the explicit and implicit? Now, if you are talking about the explicit differentiation, you are going to be given y to be equal to maybe 3x something, or you can be given y to be equal to cos square x, a lot like that you are going to observe that they are going to make y the subject of the formula in the explicit. But we are talking about the implicit differentiation. Check this question out. The question says you should differentiate. Differentiate x squared y cube minus 3xy squared minus 5x raised to the power 4 plus 2y raised to the power 7 plus 10. Now, if you are going to differentiate this, you will observe that we have y and x together. So, I have a shortcut, but before I go into the shortcut for this implicit differentiation, let me quickly remind us of the basic knowledge about differentiation. And what's the basic knowledge about differentiation? If you, ask, if you are given y to be equal to 3x raised to the power 5, and you are asked to find the y, the x, the basic knowledge of differentiation is you multiply this 5 with this 3. That will be three, 5 times 3. That is equal to 15. Then x that you are differentiating with, you, you are going to now subtract 1 from that power. That will now be 5 minus 1. That is equal to 4. This is how they do differentiation. Let me give you more example. If you have y to be equal to 7v raised to 3, then if you are now asked to find the y, the v, then the answer will be 3 times 7. That is 21. Then v raised to power 3 minus 1. That is equal to 2. This is the basic knowledge of differentiation. Now, let me give you more. Consider this equation as well. Consider this equation. If you are given y to be equal to 3u v raised to power 3, or let me call this raised to power 4, and you are asked to find the y du. The y du, you are going to target u. There's nothing concerning you with v. But one thing is that you are not going to exclude the v because the sign between u and v is multiplication. So the y du for this will now be this 4 at the power of the u because this is your target. That will be 4 times 3 here. That is equal to 12. Then that u raised to power 4 minus 1. That is 3. Then you are going to bring all the v inside there. Then you have v raised to power 3. The same thing. In the actual to find the y dv. The y dv would be your target is the v, not you this time around. So you are going to have 3 times 3 here, that's equals to 9. You are going to bring u because you are less concerned about u. So you have u raised to power 4, but your v, which is your target, you are going to subtract 1 from the power, which means you have 3 minus 1, which is equals to 2. Now, having known this, we now go straight to the differentiation, or let me say the shortcut for the implicit differentiation. And the shortcut says, what is the shortcut? It says minus the x over the y. This is shortcut. So any given question on implicit differentiation, if you are given, then this will definitely be equal to minus the x over what? Over the y. Now, let me start. That means at the numerator, right, we are going to have minus, then you are going to differentiate with respect to x only at the numerator. Then at the denominator, we have with respect to y only, and that is the y dx. Why right, let us go with x only. This will be 2 times 1 here, that is equal to 2. Then x raised to the power 2 minus 1, that is what? 1. Then don't forget, they are together, so you are going to have your y with it. So that is why we have y raised to power 3. Then with respect to y here, and with respect to x here, at this place, that will now be 1 times minus 3, that is minus 3. Then x is power 1 minus 1. You know the power of x is 1. So when we subtract 1 from the 1 of the power of x, that becomes 0. And anything raised to 0 is what? 1. So that means x is out of the equation. But since the sign between x and y is multiplication, so we are going to add y to it. Then this you have, with respect to x, don't forget, we have 4 times minus 5, that's minus 20. Then x raised to power 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Then there's no y, there's no x here. So there's no x here. We don't have to differentiate this. So this is zero, is out of it. And differentiation of constant like this 
is also zero. So that means we have zero here and we also have zero here. The reason is because there is no x here, so that is all for the numerator. Now let's come for the denominator. Denominator is with respect to y. So let's target our y for each of these. We have three times coefficient here, which is one. So we have three, but you cannot exclude x because they are together. So bring the x, x raised to power two, but your y, it will be y raised to power, you subtract one from your target, which means we have three minus one, which is all two. Then let's come to the y here. We have two times minus three here, that's minus six. Then you include x because it is multiplication. Then now have y raised to power two minus one. That makes the power of y to be equal to one. When you check this place, there's no y here. So this place will be equal to what? Zero. Because there's no y there. Then come to this place, there's y here. So when you come to this place, we now have this to be seven times two. That is equal to 14. Then y raised to power, that's seven minus one. That's equal to six. If you check this place, differentiation of constant here is what? Zero. That is it. Then let us open this bracket. Use minus to open this bracket. We now have minus 2x y raised power 3. The minus times minus there will be plus 3 y raised power 2. This one as well will be plus 20x raised power 3. This as 0. All over your denominator, which is 3x squared y raised power 2 minus 6xy plus 14 y raised to power 6. This is the answer for the implicit differentiation. I intentionally use this tough question because you can see it's very long. But if you have any question on implicit, I believe you can use this shortcut. Just make use of minus the x over the y. So you differentiate with respect to x at the numerator and differentiate with respect to y at your denominator. And I believe you are going to arrive at the final answer. So this is your the y the x. This is the differentiation of this given equation. So you can use this. I believe you've learned something today. So please let us let us have your comments, like, subscribe, and let us know the next calculator and the next shortcut you want. Thank you very much. God bless you.